Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, today we're going to talk about the Hawaiian monk seal. Now, what's a monk seal? Well, the Hawaiian monk seal is an earless seal, and it only lives in Hawaii and the Hawaiian Islands. Originally, there were three types of monk seals. One lived in the Hawaiian Islands, one lived in the Caribbean, or Caribbean, and another lived in the Mediterranean. The one that lives in the Caribbean is now extinct from overhunting. All three, well, the, the two remaining monk seals are endangered, and this was also from overhunting, but we're talking a long time ago, you know, 100 years ago. And it just takes that long for a population to come back. Plus, they also get caught in fishnets. And believe it or not, one of their biggest, well, one of their biggest, at least in the Hawaiian monk seal, the biggest problem they have is getting eaten by sharks. Great whites and Galapagos sharks. There were some very prominent breeding grounds for the Hawaiian monk seal, and then the Galapagos sharks learned how to come up in the surf and grab the pups right off the beach. Very similar to those old famous videos of the killer whales down there off of South Africa coming right up on the beach and grabbing sea lions or seals. So yeah, I guess nature figures out a way, right? Hey, I'm hungry, I'm going to climb up on that beach, get some food, and then swim away. Hey, they're sharks, you know, they suck. And as I'm trying to make this video in the background, you can probably hear one of my neighbor's yippy little dogs, which I was kind of hoping they would kind of walk a little too close to the water there and, you know, you see how that goes. And here is a little bit of interesting trivia. Generally with seals, the male is slightly larger than the female, and that is holds true for monk seals, except the Hawaiian monk seal, it's the other way around. The female slightly larger. A lot of jokes can be made out of that one. All right, but seriously now, monk seals, why do we care? What does it matter? And All right, so monk seals spend about a third of their time on shore sleeping on the beach. So if you're in Hawaii and you see a seal laying on a beach, you are not allowed to harass it, mess with it. You can't go up and take a selfie with it. You have to stay back. As you can see here, and it's normally the case, when a monk seal comes up on shore to take a nap or to give birth, and that's a whole other thing we'll talk about in a little bit, when they come up on shore, the area is cordoned off, and you see there's these signs here, hey, you don't mess with the seals when they're sleeping, but also local lifeguards usually will pull you out of the water, because if it goes back in the water, it might try to play with you a little bit too much, and, you know, bad things can happen, because these things can get eight feet long. You're not supposed to mess with them. They're not really trying to mess with you, but if you're swimming there and it's trying to eat, well, you can see how, you know, the worlds will collide there. And when you're in Hawaii, if you watch the local papers and the local news, they'll talk about, oh, there's a monk seal here on this beach and on this shore, and then crowds will gather from a safe distance, and they will take a picture, and they will, you know, film it and everything. See, how this works is, the female monk seal will come up on shore, they'll pick where they'll decide, hey, this is where I'm going to have this baby seal, and that's what it's going to be. And then that female monk seal will be there for six weeks. During that time, she usually doesn't go back into the water, or if she does, she's real, just right there in the surf, I mean, just a couple feet from shore. She teaches the baby seal how to swim. When it's done nursing after that six weeks, she heads off into the ocean and that baby is there. And that baby can be there a couple more months on its own. It's kind of like the baby bird out of the nest. At that point, it's sink or swim. So there are various rescue groups, and you can always call NOAA to report if you see a seal or if you're not sure about it. But they will wash up on shore, the babies will be there, and they won't be able to figure out how to eat, and then they'll have to go to one of the seal rescues. There's a bunch of different websites where you can report if you think there's if there's an injured seal or if there's an abandoned seal, you can report it. I'm not going to mention the actual websites or even the telephone numbers in the video here. Well, and I'll tell you why. Phone numbers change, websites change. And if you think I'm really silly about this thing, let, let me explain to you something. So I wanted to find the most accurate phone number that you could call. You, know, you can always call your local sheriff, or call the police, or call the Coast Guard, or call NOAA, or call the Waikiki uh, Aquarium. So I found a couple of good numbers, and they are the numbers that I see around town. But also I checked some of the websites, and I went to the website links, and they're no longer active websites anymore. 
And there's also something else. When I wrote my first book, well, I really didn't care much about my YouTube channel. It was small then. When I wrote my second book, my YouTube channel was starting to get big. And many friends said, hey, why don't you mention your YouTube channel in your book? And then, you know, a little cross-reference, it might help you out there. He said, no, that's not the sort of thing you do, because, you know, I've been on the Internet since day one. I was actually on the predecessor to the Internet back in a long, long time ago. And you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how things are going to be or what the protocols are going to be. Or even more basically, the YouTube channel I had then that got really big before it collapsed and, you know, I'll just say my YouTube channel died in a very horrible death. I don't have that YouTube channel anymore, so I could be mentioning something, sending people somewhere it doesn't exist. Remember MySpace? I know a few of you out there might remember MySpace. That was the biggest thing in town. Well, I, you know, hated MySpace. And I didn't finally get a MySpace page until, I don't know, a year before it ended up collapsing, right as Facebook was coming up. So you could say, oh, you can mention Facebook. No, five years from now, who knows where Facebook's going to be, especially with all this shenanigans they're putting up there they've been doing. So really, that's why I don't have the numbers or website links in the video itself, but I will put them in the description section of the video. So, yeah, I just took a long way to tell you that story, right? It took a long road. So if you're in Hawaii and you want to see a monk seal, watch the local news, look in the local paper, or you can just go down to the Waikiki Aquarium... Right there at Waikiki. It's right across the street, basically, from the zoo. And they have currently two rescued monk seals who live there. One is old and blind and can't see, but still swims around good. And it's funny I mentioned that because three years from now, five years from now, if somebody watches this video, if it's still the channel's still around, and they go to the aquarium, they want to see that. And they said, what are you talking about? That was, that was this five years ago. So, yeah. History, you know, oh, it's a cruel mistress. All right, so if you've seen a monk seal, and if you want to see a monk seal, just keep your eyes open at the beach. You usually see them just kind of like with turtles. As you're there in the surf and you're playing around at the beach, you look and you'll see a head pop up out there. You see that with turtles all the time. Even if you can't see the turtle itself, you'll see its head pop up right there next to shore. Same with the monk seals. Or you can just keep looking on the beaches themselves, out of the way beaches that aren't crowded. Bam, there's one sunning itself. It's sleeping. Remember, leave it alone. Don't touch it. It's a $50,000 fine to mess with one of these things. So yeah, unless you got that kind of pocket change, do not take that selfie. Because what do you do? You go up and take a video or a picture of yourself with this seal, and then you post it online, and it just says, hey, come and arrest me. I'm right here. Don't mess with them. So... Leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.